Okay, a uh, quick video guys, um, just to show you how you can repair your Hex H2O dome should you be unfortunate enough to drop it, scuff it on the floor, if you're on the beach and you're taking the dome off and you drop it and it scratches the surface, whatever it may be. I mean, remember this is a Perspex dome, whilst it's very strong and durable, it will scratch. So if you put it upside down onto your worktop and you've got some solder on there or something like that, you know, you are gonna mark it. So it's worth keeping it protected. Um, you can leave it fitted to your machine when you've got it uh, sitting on a shelf or whatever or you can have a, a bag for it that you put it into, or whatever works for you. But yeah, treat it uh, treat it carefully and, and look after it. But what I'm gonna show you in this quick video is that if you were to scuff it or scratch it, all is not lost and it's relatively easy to repair it. So, this is just a spare dome that we've got. And what I'm gonna attempt to show you as quickly and as easy as possible Give it a quick clean. Okay, so let's see if I can show you. I should be able to show you that there's no scratches or certainly nothing drastic looking on the front of the dome. Now, what I'm gonna do, this is obviously a very extreme demonstration, but um, it's the easiest way to show you. I've got some sandpaper here, some 180 grit sandpaper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sandpaper and just very, very quickly give it a scuff across the front. I don't wanna to be too dramatic and scratch the hell out of it because we're gonna be, it's gonna be a long video, but I just wanna do it lightly. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. Okay, so I've done that. And hopefully you'll see in the picture, this is not the easiest thing to show you. Get the light, there it is. So hopefully you can see in the light here. So I've just scratched it. You can see a series, let's see how close I can get that. There you go. So a series of scratches across the front there and it carries on for about an inch across there. Okay, so I can feel those quite clearly with my finger. They would certainly uh, hinder your um, recording ability. You know, you would pick those up for sure on the camera. So at that point, you may be panicking and thinking, oh, you've got to buy another dome. Well, you haven't. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to repair those. So there's a few things you need. First of all, you need something like this. This is T-Cut. It's a scratch remover for um, cars, automobiles. Um, there may be other brands in the world, I'm not sure, but T-Cut's are certainly popular over here. Uh, but essentially, it's a scratch remover. So it's got a cutting agent in it. You polish it into your car paint and it takes off uh, scratches. There's a bit of information there if you want to pause and read feel free um, so tea cut what we're going to do is we're going to get some tissue and you can use a cloth small amount on the tissue you can see the scar quite nicely there this is the bit where you may want to fast forward but we're going to just gently Start rubbing it into the scratched area. Okay, just show you now, we are looking here. So you can just about still see it, only just though. It's nearly completely gone, I actually hold it the same way as it was. So just in front of my finger, you can just about make out a little scuff there. Hopefully you can make that out. It's very, very light now. So it's nearly gone, so we're just gonna Keep on going. And the beauty of this is it's even something you could do out in the field if you had to. Just a couple of things that you need to carry in your toolbox. And you can carry out these repairs 
wherever you are in the world. Okay. Both sides. Yeah, I'm happy that's now completely gone. It's very hard to show you on a camera, but I can assure you those three scratches that were there and the long two inch scratch is now no longer there. And like I say, it, it, even if it's a relatively deep scratch, it will polish out. You can polish it out. Um, if you don't have uh, something like a scratch remover, uh, this kind of compound, then sometimes a, a good car polish will do the same thing. Uh, it's going to take longer though, because it's not going to be as abrasive. Um, so like I say, if you can find something like this, that's actually a scratch remover, um, it will work just a case of rubbing it in. Then, so continue doing that. When you're happy with the results and you're happy that you've got the marks out, then just get yourself a car wax, which I have here, good old turtle wax. And then you just want to apply some car wax to it. There you go, that dome's ready to use. So again, the scratches. I'm gonna try and show you, because it's very hard to pick out reflection. There you go, gets rid of all that reflection off of my lights in the workshop. Try and do this side as well. You can see the reflection has gone from there, and as you can see, there are no scratches. Do my best to get the reflection out for you, so you can see. But there you go. So like I say, even if you've got deep grooves in here, I mean, I've taken them out before that are a lot deeper than that. Um, it's just a case of patience. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Essentially, just keep going until you're happy with the result. Uh, and you will get there and you'll be able to do that over and over again if you're unfortunate enough to keep dropping it or to, to scuff it on a sandy beach or whatever it may be, then um, you know you can repair these and they will keep going and keep going. Okay, thank you.